This is Darrell with the Motivational Moment. Today, I want to talk about how you see yourself. This is this video could probably be paired with the video I did a couple months ago about watch how you talk to me. So these videos will probably go hand in hand. So you can listen to this one and then go to the YouTube page if you're not on the YouTube page now and watch the How You Talk to Me video because they will probably mirror one another. But today is how you see yourself, right? The first thing is you want to view yourself as a winner, right? And that is probably the most important and first step that you want to do. You want to go into every situation and go into uh, everything thinking that you are already, you are, have already won. Uh, the key, I'm wearing this James Harden shirt, not because I'm one of the greatest Rockets fans, but I happen, I like the Rockets. Now I'm glad we got Chris Paul, so shout out to Chris Paul. Uh, but they don't go into games thinking, okay, we're going to lose this game. They go into every game thinking that they're going to win because they already have a strategy. They've already been practicing. They are on the professional level. They are one of the elite players in the league, and they, they're, they've been practicing and preparing for this their whole career. So they're already going into it with the expectation of winning. So you want to first believe and know and view yourself as a winner and Second part is you want to be confident in, in your skills. Whatever it is you want to you are doing, you want to be confident in your skills. So if you are a speaker, if you are a writer, if you are a dancer, if you are a nurse, if you are a construction worker, what a teacher, an advisor, whatever you are, you want to be confident in your skills and know that you are you are the best of the best and you have been set aside from everybody else because of your skill set, because of what you can do, right? Uh, the, 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 the third part the, the, I think the most important part that kind of blankets all of this is you want to still remain humble, but you want to be hungry at the same time. You always want to be getting better. You always want to be uh, putting yourself in a position where that, that will stretch you and mold you into a better person, uh, more round and more complete, right? You want to be in a situation where you can learn and help others at the same time, but you don't want to allow your successes to go to your head. So you want to be level-headed, right? You want to stay humble but remain hungry. Those are key things you want to do because no one wants to be around somebody who is extremely arrogant and just feels like they can do no wrong and they can't be touched. You don't want to be. You don't want to be that guy, right? You don't want to be that guy. Uh, so look at yourself as a winner. Be confident. Stay humble but remain hungry. So don't ever lose that fire inside of you to be better, right? You want to make sure you're always feeding that and pushing to be better. So, this is Darrell with the Motivational Moment. And as always, act in love and do the right thing because it needs to be done. Y'all have a great day.